Dear students, we have studied the many identities in our previous class and also proved. Let's do the remaining identities. What the remaining identities states? Identity number 10. If none of the angles x, y and x plus y is an odd multiple of pi by 2. Angles x and y are the angles and x plus y is an odd multiple of pi by 2, 3 by 2, 5 by 2, 7 pi by 2, then identity says that tangent x plus y is equal to tangent x plus tangent y one minus tangent x into tangent y. What it follows because none of the angles x, y, x plus y is an odd multiple of pi by 2. What it means? It means that cos x cos y and cos x plus y are non-zero. It means if it is odd multiple, then cos x, cos y and cos plus y, x plus y are non-zero. As we know that, Tangent is equal to sin x plus y divided by cos x plus y. And we have the formula for sin x plus y. Sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. And in the numerator, cos x plus y is cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Identity second, identity third, we have applied here. Now, if sin x cos y, if we divide numerator and denominator by cos x cos y because these are non-zero cos x cos y cos x cos y and cos x cos y minus cos x cos y minus sin x sin y and cos x cos y. Then what it comes out to be? This is 1. This comes out to be tangent x. Uh, cos x sin y. Cos x cos y. So cos x and this is cos y, then it comes out to be tangent x plus tangent y 1 minus tangent x tangent y. Tangent x tangent y. That's the result for 20 years. And similar is for Tangent x minus y is equal to 10x minus 10y 
divided by 1 plus tangent x tangent y. It means you replace y by minus y in a previous identity. If you replace y minus y, then you can reach on the conclusion because this y becomes plus, this y becomes minus. That's all about the entities. And now, identity 12 states that if none of the angles x, y, and x plus y is a multiple of pi, x, y, and x plus y is a multiple of pi, then it is the chord. Cotangent x plus y is cot x cot y minus 1 and tangent, uh, sorry, uh, cot y plus cotangent x, cot y plus cotangent x. What it means? If x and x y and x plus y is a multiple of pi, then it means that sin x sin y sin x plus y is non zero or you can say it as a non zero what is cot cot x plus y is cot x plus y is cos x plus y divided by sin x plus y. And from the identities 2 and 3, uh, 3 and 4, we reached on the conclusion that cos x cos y minus sin x sin y and uh, divided by sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. And if we divide numerator and denot denominator by sin x sin y as we have done in the 10th uh, identity by cos x cos y, so we reach on the conclusion that's the cot x cot y minus 1 and cot y plus cot x and similar cot x minus y is cot x cot y plus 1 and cot y minus cot x if we replace y by minus y in identity 13, in identity 12, sorry, not 13, in, in previous identities. And similarly, we can calculate or we can show, show identity 14 cos 2x is cos square x minus sin square x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x is equal to 1 minus tangent square x divided by 1 plus tangent square x. Following the above identities, we reach on this conclusion cos 2x. We use the identity here cos x plus y is cos x 
cos y minus sin x sin y if we replace y by x then it becomes cos 2x and cos 2x is the cos square x minus sin square x and cos square x minus 1 minus cos square x because of the properties of sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 and cos square x minus 1 plus cos square x. It means it is 2 cos square x minus 1. 2 cos square x minus 1. If you put cos square x to 1 minus sin square x minus 1. Then it becomes 2 minus 2 sin square x minus 1. And again it is 1 minus 2 sin square x. 1 minus 2 sin square x. The cos 2x is this and similarly we can prove for others also. And uh, similarly sin 2x is also 2 sin x cos x and it is equivalent to 2 tangent x 1 plus tangent square x where x is not a multi and multiply of pi plus pi by 2. The n is an integer. We can prove here in sign x plus y and we can put there 2 in replace we can replace y. Then identity 16 Tangent 2x is equal to 2 tan x 1 minus tangent square x. Tangent 2x, we know that tangent x plus y in the tangent x minus y. So tangent x plus y is equal to tangent x plus tangent y divided by 1 minus tan x tan y. If we replace y x, y by x, we reach on the conclusion tan 2x is 2 tangent x because x becomes and 1 minus tangent square x. And next identity is sin 3x. Please sin x minus 4 sin cube x. How you would prove? We have sin 3x. Sin 3x means sin 2x plus x. And we have the formula for sin x plus y. It means sin 2x cos x plus cos 2x sin x. 2 sin x cos x because sin 2x is cos x plus 1 minus 2 sin square x sin x and it becomes 2 sin x 
because cos square is 1 minus sin square x and sin x minus 2 sin cube x. It is a sim simple calculation. 2 sin x minus 2 sin cube x plus sin x minus 2 sin cube x and it becomes 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x. 4 sin cube x. That's about the identity 17. Next is 30. Uh, cos 3x is equal to you can similarly solve this identity also as we have previously showed solve the other identities then tangent 3x is 3 tangent x you can prove this also as we have proved earlier then there are more identities identities 20s till now we have proved cos x plus y now if cos x plus cos y then that becomes 2 cos x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2 it's very simple to prove cos x minus cos y is again minus 2 sin x plus y divided by 2 sin x minus y divided by 2 and for sin you can also do it 2 sin x plus y divided by 2 cos x minus y divided by 2 and sin x minus sin y 2 cos x plus y divided by 2 sin x minus y divided by 2. For the remaining identities, you can prove other identities also. Identity 21, 21. This is the last identity here. And uh, I'm uh, writing down here. These are not only 21 identity, but including all the part, these, these become more than 30 or okay. So you have to learn all of this. So cos x cos y cos x plus y plus cos x minus y and minus 2 sin x sin y is equal to cos x plus y minus cos x minus y and 2 sin x cos y is equal to sin x plus y plus sin x minus y. So cos x sin y is equal to sin x plus y minus sin x minus y. These are the identities. If you have any problem to prove an identity, then ask us. We are here always to solve your problem related to mathematics. Keep watching home learns. Your comment, your problems in the videos. Thank you.